Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to create procedural gear system in Houdini. And this tutorial is for beginner level. Basically this tutorial will explain more about linking parameter in Houdini. So before move into Houdini, I would like to show you the relation between two gears which has different numbers of teeth. Okay, so over here we have gear 1 and gear 2 or you can say that gear A and gear B. Now see, uh, whenever you want to find any relation between those gears, make sure that you will take the values very relatives. Likewise over here, over here I take 100 teeth, I consider 100 teeth over here and over here I uh, 25. So with those numbers you can easily identify the relation between this thing. Okay, so over here there are two relations. One is size and one is rotation. So I will talk about rotation relation. Now you see it is very easy that for example this is my master gear. So when it rotated one cycle you can easily identify that okay this gear rotate four times. Okay, so it's rotated four cycle. So you can easily identify relation between rotation. So gear B rotation is equal to rotation of gear A multiplied with numbers of teeth in gear A divided by numbers of teeth in gear B. Okay, so we can easily identify the relation with this. Now we move on to scale. So now again with this number you can easily identify that if we consider this as 100 percentage size so this should be 25 percentage ok so equation say that size of gear B is equal to size of gear A multiply with numbers of teeth in B divided by numbers of teeth in A Okay, so now I just need to apply that particular stuff into Houdini. Okay, so let's move into Houdini. Okay, so over here I just create one geometric container. Now I just go inside that particular stuff and over here as a base I am going to create one tube. Okay, and I just convert that particular stuff into polygon. And I just reduce the size of this like this. Okay, now I am going to create one more tube over here. Okay, so this is my tube A and this is my tube B. Okay, and right now both has same segments and same size. So what am I going to do is that over here I just apply one transform. Also apply that transform over here and I move this particular tube little bit over here. As well as over here, I am just applying one merge. Okay, so to see that particular stuff in a same frame. Now over here, I am going to create one controller. Okay, so I just create one null. Press Z over here and I just change the icon like this so we can easily identify that okay this is my controllers now over here first of all i am going to create uh, some parameters so i just go to edit parameter interface and over here uh, first of all i just insert two integer parameter and over here i just name it as T A that is considered as numbers of teeth of gear A. Numbers of teeth gear A. I just copy this thing. Come over here. Set T B. And over here I just set name numbers of teeth gear B. Okay. And over here. I just set my range so minimum I just lock and I just set it to maybe 4. Over here also I just set it to maybe 4. And as a default 
value I just set maybe six over here and maybe over here I just set eight. Okay, and one more thing that I need to set over here that is my float value that is for rotation control of gear and over here I just set zero in parameter I just R A that is rotation A and over here I just write down the rotation of gear A and over here I just set range that should be I just prefer minus 180 to 180 okay and I just apply app, uh, apply this thing accept okay so now I have these things so now I, I, I need to first of all linking those parameter with this so this is my gear A and this is my gear B so see over here I need six teeth okay so if I want to six three uh, six teeth so I need double segment of my things so what am i going to do is that i just copy this parameter come over here and over here in column i just paste relative reference multiply with two okay same thing i need to do it over here so i just paste relative reference uh, first of all i need to copy this thing so i just copy parameter copy parameter come over here and over here I just paste the relative reference multiply with 2 ok so now it has basically 16 segments and over here it has 12 segments ok now what I need to do is that I need to define the scale so uh, what am I going to do is that I just set or I can just remain uh, this tube radius one unit okay so i'm not going to change that particular radius over here i'm just going to modify that uh, this gears scale like this okay so for that purpose what am i going to do is that uh, over here uh, the equation say that uh, that size should be your size of a that is definitely one because we consider as one okay or you can copy that particular stuff over here copy parameter come over here paste relative reference and multiply with numbers of teeth in B so that you can come over here so copy parameter again come over here paste the relative reference and divide by copy parameter come over here again and paste relative reference okay so now see it automatically change the size of this okay so now even if you change something over here like if you just change it to maybe 10 it will automatically increase the size and now the benefit is that uh, this length or this uh, size of this segment and these segments are same okay so that we need actually okay so now what am I going to do is that first of all I am going to design the gear system okay so I have these two things I just move a little bit over here maybe and now what am I going to do is that over here I just apply one poly action and I just side in minus direction and over here I just click on this out back as well as I just export or I just publish this group extrude back now first of all I just reverse this thing because we extrude in negative direction now over here I need to create one group range group range over here and over here as a base group I just define that actual back so we get this thing and now I just select my alternate primitives over here okay and I just name it as alt primitive now I just apply one poly actual again and over here I just define this alt primitive and define like this 
little bit inside like this okay so now I just come over here move little bit over here now I want to set the relation of rotation okay so first of all what am I going to do is that I just select this rotation so I just copy parameter over here and uh, in Y rotation I just paste relative reference over here okay now the rotation of gear B should be rotation of gear A into numbers of teeth of A divided by numbers of teeth in B okay so what I need to do is that I just come over here I just copy this parameter come over here and see over here we uh, that joint gear is there so it should be if it uh, rotate in clockwise it should be anti-clockwise so it is opposite direction so what am I going to do is that I just apply minus over here paste relative reference okay then multiply it by numbers of teeth of A so paste a relative reference divide by I just come over here copy this copy parameter come over here and paste relative reference over here so now if I rotate this thing okay over here minus Oops. so now if I rotate this thing see so now see over here I just apply some basic animation like uh, over here 0 degree I just apply animation over here maybe 50 degree over here maybe minus 30 degree over here maybe 90 over here maybe minus 80 like this maybe okay so now see you will get the proper rotation now even if you change the 20 over here 5 over here okay it is too tiny 6 over here or maybe 7 over here damn that is okay Again, I just you need to set it over here maybe. like this, and now you will get a proper rotation. Okay, so now you can play with those, and even you can create some change. Then thirty, or maybe sixty, like this. As you see, it automatically set in a proper way. Okay, so that's how you create your gear system with linking parameter and some basic maths. Okay, so thank you for watching this tutorial. See you soon with another tutorial.